Welcome to the Frito Bendito Taqueria Stealth Mode. Where we are... Hold on, let's see here. I need to fix my cable. There you go. We are back. Let's see here. Is that's gonna be hunting stuffs? Okay, let's get to that. Over this way. Interesting. Ow. Darn that very slight change in <laughs> altitude, shoot. Slight change in elevation and just can't do anything with that. Ick. Alright, well, okay, let's see here. What do we got? Okay, well, we got another fire just up the road this way. Those tramplers seem like nice fellows. Keep that for later. Need to get more stuff to. What are those? Griffhawk. Intriguing. Hmm. Good for an old remedy. Don't let your guard down. Okay. Nothing back there. Okay, so this is like some... Okay, so we got a metal flower right there. Ooh, what's that? Okay, let's go get that metal flower first. Flower is down this way. Ugh, going down fast. No, you're not. Shush. Let's 
see here. We got anything? Yeah, something I know I'm gonna need more of. So I'm gonna need more fishes. You get back here. Oh. Good. Oh, oh, oh. I pissed off something. Oh, nope. Level 24. Interesting. Interesting triangle of flowers right there. Hmm. Alright, took care of that. Okay, there's a settlement over there. I want to be heading over to that cauldron, though. Okay. I think we're going to be wanting to head back up this hill. to fire.
Wow, that was pretty fun. Necessarily want to tend with one of those guys. So we're not going to. Rabbit, now where'd the boar go? Oh wow, I still got quite a ways to go. Alright, so this is leading me up a back road. Back up to the mountains. This is like a back trail. Up oh, there you are, Mr. Boar. Oh, you can't run for long, buddy. This old last. Hey, Forty Otis. What's up, dude? Yeah, this game's pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm actually playing this now. I'll tuck that away. <laughs> but no has PlayStation. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. This is a uh, PlayStation exclusive. So, you're all... Unfortunately, you be out of luck. Okay, so I wanna go here. Uh, I'm doing good. My taqueria is completely dissembled, though. <laughs> doing, uh, major renovations to the taqueria right now. My entire setup is actually sprawled out on my guest bed right now. Everything took, so took up an entire queen-size bed. Actually, no, that's a full-size. So, yeah, there's... A lot of things that go into putting on the high caliber stream known as the Frito Bandito Taqueria. <laughs> but yeah, that's all disassembled right now. So we have insulation done, and then afterward, ooh, we got quiet. Yeah, it's just watchers. Yeah, all right, we're just gonna go normal arrows. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy.
how about you not do any attacks? And then we call it good. But yeah, unfortunately, my full setup isn't going to be operational for, oh, at least another three to four weeks or so. Well, turkey, 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 I need that turkey. Yeah, no cam. Well, actually, stealth mode mainly means I'm streaming straight from my PS4 rather than my standard PC setup. Um, also means I am actually streaming from inside of my house as opposed to out in Le Tacaria. So I'm kind of a little more subdued. Can't do the uh, can't do the yo-yo shows. Don't have my bot active. You know. Stuff like that, so it's kind of like a no frills, no thrills kind of a stream, and oh wow, this is, oh, there's that dumb turkey, there you go, got it. Like starting windows in safe mode, um, mm, it's like... Yeah, yeah, I guess it's kind of like in safe mode. It has all the all the necessities, none of the frills, none of the shiny things. I mean, this is I mean, this is pretty much how I got started in streaming about three years ago. You know, I had my PS4 and I knew it did streaming, and um, my buddy Dinkus, who is one of my stream legends, or if you scroll down, you will see my list of stream legends. Um, he, uh, the way I got into streaming was he called into a radio show that I listened to, and he was talking about streaming and doing all that kind of stuff, and I got interested in it. So then I knew, um, at the time, my PC was kind of a piece of garbage. Um, it, it didn't even, it was a Windows XP. <laughs> I didn't even have... I mean, this is about three and a half years or so ago at this point. Flowing through that pipe. Ooh. Hopefully it's not sewage. Um. So, um. Bonsai. So, um. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's rule number four, I think, if I remember right. Um. But still, rule number one applies, don't be a jerk. There are things that you can say not being a jerk that may be offensive to others, but it's very, very funny. Looks like I'm not the first to look for a way in. What a waste. Oh. Uh, it looks like water. So anyway, so um so he talked about doing the whole stream thing, and I was like, well, you know, maybe I can try doing some let's plays. So I tried compiling some Let's Plays together on my PC, and back then I actually did Psychonauts, um, Monkey Island, and I think there was one other game I attempted. I can't remember what game it was. Um, I'm not curious too, but I'm better prepared. I hope it's <laughs> enough. I am much better prepared. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that? I thought I saw something else down here. Okay, guess not. Um, let me make sure I'm fully stocked. So, um, but yeah, the videos I did were very low quality just because my PC was running Windows XP. Oh, hi. Goodbye. Okay, just a little bit of story of what's going on is um, you have f I have found another area known as the Black Cauldron. So um, these are very highly technological areas that um, you learn. They uh, so the whole story takes place in this kind of post-apocalyptic Earth. And can I? Nope. 
Okay, good. I'm not dead. That's always a good thing. Okay, so now that. Oh, good day. So, uh, so I'll, I'll finish my story in a sec. I'll, I'll get some lore right here. So what happens is, um, pretty much AI went psycho amok. And um, because of that, it created all these weird psycho death machines that literally is killing everything. So you are this girl, Aloy. Come on, come on. There you go. So, pretty much all of most of the civilizations abhor anything mechanical. Sound again. So, um, what you wind up being is you end up becoming this outcast that is supposed to go out and kind of figure out what's going on and kind of unravel this mystery of what are these machines? Why do they try and kill everything? So, this is one of the more futuristic areas. So this is called the Black Cauldron, and by the end of this, um, I'll actually be able to gain the ability to hack certain animals of the big mecho dinosaur things. And with that, I'll be able to control them or use them and use them for my bidding. So, that's pretty sweet. Um, no. I have not played this through before. This is my first playthrough. Um... I've been through one of these other types of cauldrons before. That's the only reason I know that. <laughs> and, um, by the way, I'm playing this on beginner difficulty. Because I am pretty bad at these kinds of games. Pretty much because I'm playing on beginner difficulty, I can just plow through all these monsters. Which, eh, some people might say it's a little cheap, but I don't care. I am so much more interested in the story than the combat, so it doesn't really matter to me at all. Let's see here. Okay, got another one of these jumping things to do. Okay, let's grab onto this. I mean, this is a very, very intriguing game, story-wise. In terms of, you know, kind of dealing with this post-apocalyptic future, which, quite thankfully, no zombies. I like that. I like my post-apocalyptic futures to be zombie-free. And mainly because those, um... The zombie games kind of annoy me. So, she's attached a special thing on her spear that allows her to uh, hack into these things and override them. Let me in! So we're kind of in this process of figuring out 
<clears throat> what exactly caused this AI to go berserk. Okay, so it looks like we got power back to most of the facilities. Okay, good. No enemies, which is a good thing. So anyway, so, um, back to the me starting streaming story. Uh, you're good. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. So, um, so after I tried a couple Let's Plays, um, I wound up obtaining my PS4. And I noticed with my PS4 that you're able to stream. So then I decided, eh, well, why don't I give this thing a try? You know, I can do it straight from my PS4, so I don't have to buy any extra equipment. And hey, you want, if I don't like it, yeah, I don't like it. You know, I'll just, I'll just, you know, turn it off and never do it again. And, uh, quite frankly, I liked it. <laughs> I mean, I liked it enough to where, you know, I invested in a whole new rig. I did, um, you know, bought some gear. You now, which quite thankfully, my wife was, my wife's pretty on board with it. So then that's, that's pretty much where I started my streaming career was just, well, hobby, I guess. It's not necessarily a career. Just catch on. There you go. It's not necessarily... Well, I guess you can call it a career, but it's not my career. What's this? Ew. I don't even want to know what that is. Is that just sand? I hope that's just sand. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so that's just going through things. jumps per thing. How am I supposed to get over there on two jumps? So these cauldron places are pretty much the I guess the link to the past dungeons of the game. So they're kind of full of some parkour puzzles. openly admit though you know it'll be interesting with the PS5 coming out you know, relatively soon well I mean it's all next year but it'll be interesting what P PlayStation does to kind of finish the life of the, this system can't go over that way. I don't think I'm missing anything. That doesn't seem to be a control module. Maybe I just have to run and jump over. I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do. Hmm. Because with the 
new console generation coming out next year, you know, I'm faced with a pretty tough decision because I'm like, okay, how much into PC gaming am I going to be? You know? Okay, good. Amazing. Just jump over. That's all I had to do. Alright, let's refill our health. Because, like, I've always eventually bought the PlayStation and Nintendo consoles. So I'm not... I mean, I'll eventually own a PS5, but honestly, it'll be mostly dependent on... Alright, what do we got in here? if I can hit its freaking eye. There you go. And here comes another one. No, that's fine. I'm always cool with people lurking. Yeah, I mean, she's supported to the point where she's just like, I don't care that you do it. Just don't go too crazy with it, and don't make us go broke. <laughs> Shroomies! Alright, what's this gonna do? Oh. That opened that. Alright, let's scout this area, see if there's any other treasures. stuff. Ooh. Yeah, it's funny as I've had a couple other streaming friends being like, man, I can't believe your dedication to this whole stream thing. I'm like, well, quite frankly, it's... I'm playing video games anyway, so I might as well turn the stream on. If anyone wants to watch and get some decent commentary about the games I'm playing. Decent commentary about life and fun stuffs. But but yeah. I mean, Deodis, you're always totally cool to lurk in any of my streams. Because that's mainly what I do with... Ooh. I didn't realize it was that deep. Because, quite frankly, when I'm in most other people's streams, uh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I usually lurk. Lurky turkey. Alright, so we've already... Oh. Machines can lift blaze from the wilds, and it all flows here. Like blood to the heart. So the cauldron runs on life itself.
I mean, one other thing about my wife is she, uh, she married me knowing full well that I like me my video games. Oops. With those legs, that machine looks as fast as it Is that like an ostrich or something? Long leg. Interesting. It's gotta be like an ostrich type or something. Okay, I think we finally finished off all the enemies in this area. Scavenged everything. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, so I gotta figure out a way onto these platforms. Which would be over this way. Okay, can't go over there. anything in life. What is that machine even doing? That's definitely an option, somehow. So pretty much what I'm looking for is some sort of yellow handholds. Okay, 
so it has to be somewhere over here. Yeah, nice thing about this game is they're pretty... pretty distinct in terms of what you're able to climb on and what you're not able to climb on. Makes it a bit easier from a player standpoint. So you know pretty much what are your limitations. Okay, there we go. That's a way up. Yeah, it would have been nice if they would have, oh, I don't know, give me a handhold right here. Okay, how am I going to get out of this thing? Let's see here. Intriguing puzzle, indeed.
Oh. Oh. I am a dork. potato <laughs> here I am trying to find this really complicated solution to a problem that oh yeah. all right so now what did that do get to play the what did that do game okay so I overrode that big thing that opened up something over here <gasps> why yes it did all right next part That's what it did. All right. Okay. So let's get this next part done. Is there anything trying to kill me here? Eh, what am I saying? Everything's trying to kill me. It's like Australia here. These cauldrons are like Australia. Everything is trying to kill you. Oh. Wow, good thing uh for auto grab. Oh already. Yeah, we're gonna need to make a shop run pretty soon. Let's see here. So close. when you swim in water with your boots. Alright, someone's 
to me. It's like a fun dino to play with. They say is that got too much already. All right, that's the end of the cauldron. So I'm getting the ability to override more animals. Don't know which ones I'm gonna get from this one. That's it. More machines I can override. ones.
So yeah, that was that one. Okay, Ravager, Trampler, Shellwalker. Ooh, Snap Maws. Mm. to find some civilization. Alright, we're gonna fast travel there. We're gonna move to that. <laughs> we're gonna head over to that city to the left. And we're gonna do some housekeeping items and then we'll be done for the night. Cause I gotta get the housekeeping done. Cause I got, I'm like totally full up. <laughs> Laundry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about in-game housekeeping stuff, not like actual housekeeping stuff. That's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting ready to close everything down for 10 days starting on Wednesday. So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff we got to do tomorrow. But the good thing is, the drywall guys are coming on Monday, and I'm all ready for them, which is nice. They're actually going to come over and drop off all the drywall tomorrow, so then they'll get to work on Monday. Hey, buddy. All right. Oh, come here, Mr. Moore, and... Hey! What? What the? What? No, oh, Darn you, domesticated. Alright, thanks for hanging out, Deotis. You have a good night, as always. See you around, man. Settlement. Alright. Okay, we need to do some selling. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Sell you.
Alright, we're gonna dump a bunch of sticks here. There's all my bundles of sticks. All right, let's see if we have any on, on that. Okay, I own all of those fancy ones. Let's see here. Mmm, that's got 15% for everything. So now I can sell my fast travel packs. Good. That was solid. Finest goods here. See for yourself. Every time I have a quad. Oh, I didn't sleep too well last night. So it's good to just sit down. All right. 
Okay. Oh. What was that? Well, anyway. So we're going to call it there for tonight. Wow, got through a whole cauldron and... Oh, and the last call tonight it took me quite some time. So, we are slowly but surely making our way towards there. Which isn't too far. We'll pick that to be our next. Or we'll go for the metal flower. Yeah, we'll go for the metal flower. Why not? Alright, so we are slowly making our way over to there. But, uh, like I said, that's, that's going to be it for me tonight. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for those who tune into the VODs. You're always appreciated. Uh, remember, if you like what you saw, please hit that follow button. Greatly appreciate it. I'll let you know whenever I am on streaming. Um, so I'll be back tomorrow night with more, uh, with more of this fantastic game. Uh, hope you all have a great Saturday tomorrow. Good night, Isaiah Norris, wherever you are. And uh, I'm off. Good night, everyone. Good night.